In this video, I want to show you a Gantt chart that I created. I'm going to open up the Chart Expert Business Group template. Um, I'm going to open up the Data section tab, and um, you can see that in the Show Values section, I needed I need two dates um, so I can get the difference between uh, the day count between these two dates, um, and then for each record, and then it's going to be by recipient. And so these are different stages that this is going to go through. And basically the different, what's different about this data set is that I needed the difference between this date and the next line date, and then this date and then the next line date. Um, so my two dates were not in the data set on the same line. Um, so I'm just going to show you the SQL that I had to create to get that because that is a big piece of it. I use this lead formula to get the date on the next line. Lead the my date comma one over order by document ID event time. The other interesting part about this data set is I wanted my last day to be the current date. So what I actually did was I unioned um, the current date to the data set um, for each of the records so that I could get that current date um, as my last date. And then I just put an X where that where I was going to um, where I, or yeah where I was going to order by. Um, okay. So that's that. And so I have my two, so there, therefore that, that date that date that I showed you the formula of is now the next date of the next line. And actually I'm going to drag that in to show you quickly that you can see. So you can see that this date is the next line's date. This date is actually the same as the next line date. This date is the same as this line's date. So therefore, it's all on the same line, and I'm going to get my differences here on each of the each of the lines that I want to see the Gantt chart in.